The, t the topics in my work always focus on issues to do with migration, but mainly referencing Zimbabweans in South Africa and looking at the context of how migrants get affected by issues to do with where they come from and within Africa and also globally and outside Africa. My creative process has to do with a lot of seeking in terms of aesthetics with the mediums that I work with. The creative process for me varies. It, it starts off in terms of the medium or it could start off with research or it can be an intuitive process. Sometimes also my creative process starts from content, research, and also maybe intuition and putting things together and trying to make sense out of them or even doing things that do not make sense. The title came from when we got into lockdown. My idea was to have enough material to work with. I didn't have a narrative. So the more I started putting things together, the more I started seeing how the work was much more speaking about survival, context of surviving and our personal attributes, like how we would want to see ourselves. And also partly questioning the idea of like, under these masks or with these conditions, how are we really feeling? Storytelling for me is very important. I think that's the most vital part of my work. I think storytelling for me wasn't an easy journey to get into because my earlier stages as an artist, I was very good at executing, but I didn't have a story. So I had to figure out what kind of stories I can sort of like go into. Um, I had to figure out if I'm to make dark work or work that involves death or life, to what extent should I push myself and to what extent should I be able to be vulnerable in front of the viewer. Storytelling bridges between opinions, whether bad or good or negative or positive. Art is a means of expression. Art is a means of living. Art is a means of one's identity. And for me, the, the subject matter that's close to my heart is anything to do with Africa, the issues to do with Africa, whether the past, the present, the future.